on this episode. The Smash Lab team puts a daring idea to the test. Using two state-of-the-art fire-resistant materials, they take on the fury of a wildfire and try to stop it from burning down a house. Welcome to Smash Lab. Where four maverick inventors engineer outrageous new ways to make the world better. The Smash Lab crew are Kevin Cook, Ideas Guy. What we gotta do is we gotta make it huge. Chuck Messer, Engineer. I think the car's gonna smash through, it's gonna blow up, hit the barrier. Deanne Bell, Scientist. So the car hit it, that energy transferred here, and then it hit the other one. Nick Blair, Designer. Okay, if it goes wrong, it could go horribly wrong, really. Oh, God! Smash Lab. Deep in the heart of a high-tech facility, Chuck and Kevin have got their hands on the latest in computer protection. Oh, this thing is great. Crack it open. Inside these cases is a revolutionary material. This is a super high-tech mobile server station. It's like a whole IT department of a building rolled into this box. These machines store priceless data that can't be replaced, so to protect them from extreme temperatures, the cases are lined by an amazing substance called aerogel. This is a powerful insulator. It keeps the temperature inside stable, no matter what the temperatures are outside. It's only half an inch thick. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. We can do something great with this. If aerogel can keep blistering heat from damaging a server, maybe it can keep fire from destroying a house. And no fires are harder on houses than forest fires. A shield using aerogel might be just the defense needed in high-risk places like California, where wildfires rage every year. Here in California, we know all about the damage that comes from forest fires. If we can get aerogel to work, we should be able to reduce that damage. It's an ambitious plan, but just maybe this cutting-edge material could make the impossible possible. Here it is, guys. Aerogel. We got it in two forms. Solid block right here and a beaker full of granules. And each of these granules is like a little mini block. It's supposed to be an incredible insulator. He just doesn't conduct through it. This stuff is so light that it's probably gonna be really hard to work with because it's gonna be something like harnessing a cloud. It's supposed to be the lightest solid on the planet. By the looks of it, I might agree. Aerogel is light enough to cover a house. And at $30 a square foot, oh, it's amazing. affordable. That makes it practical on two levels. But to succeed in this experiment, it has to defeat a wildfire's fierce heat and hungry flames. It sounds crazy, and maybe it is crazy, but you've got to start somewhere. And if we can get this to work as a prototype, then it seems like it'll definitely have a future in fire protection. Forest fires do enormous damage. In 2007, in California alone, forest fires destroyed more than 3,000 houses and roasted over half a million acres of land. Thousands of fires like these strike across the U.S. each year. The Smash Lab team knows that they picked a tough challenge. They need to cover a house with aerogel in a way that fends off these blazes. To work, aerogel has to withstand roaring flames in temperatures as hot as 2,000 degrees. Chuck and Kevin decide to see if it's up to the job. Let's see how good of an insulator this stuff is. This blowtorch hits 1,900 degrees Fahrenheit, forest fire hot, hot enough to melt copper. What do you feel? Barely feel a thing. Feel a little bit of heat or not? Mostly coming around the sides. Look at that. That's great. Even after 30 seconds, the aerogel is cool to the touch. Well, that's all the proof I need. Aerogel's one good insulator. It is. I'm impressed. Aerogel stood up to a blowtorch, 